What is going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you a desktop application by the name of Minecraft Skin Viewer. As you might you as you might have guessed, it is a way to view Minecraft skins for basically anybody who has a skin on Minecraft. So basically what you can do with this application, if you go to the link in the description and download it, you're going to get this little application file right here. Go ahead and run it and then it'll bring up this little console right here. And then what you can do from here, you can either browse for a skin that you just happen to have on your on your computer, or you can go ahead and just type in anybody's. So let's go with let's go with Dan's skin. And then I don't know why my internet's kind of slow right now. There it is. Yeah, and then you can just screw around with their skin. Let's try Sparkles. Why not? And it does work with the 3D, so that's what. And the real purpose for this, like, I seem to be using it a lot recently. I use it a lot to um, get people into a correct position. And I normally go right-click, save image as, and then I can go Sparkles. And then basically what you're going to get you're going to look like you're going to get an image that looks just like this one right here with little enderbrine. Uh, and you would get an image of basically what it's saved in there. You can change the backgrounds and um, personally I think this is really helpful in my um, I think this is really helpful in my YouTube thumbnails especially when I'm doing anything multiplayer because I love pe putting people's skins in. And um, you can do a bunch of different angles. I normally, um, all I normally do is I just save it with a transparent background and then I would drag it into GIMP and then I would just cut it out and then place it. So that's basically what I do for some of my thumbnails and I really find this helpful. Um, if you want to have like just the face, what you would have to do, you would have to angle it like this. And then, like, uh, you just have to angle it and then crop it, but it's not that difficult. And you, um, it comes with a bunch of preset ways that you can have a character. Personally, I really wish it would let me set, I really wish it would let me set, like, my own kind of face. Because, like, it, by default, whenever you launch it, like, let me, let me launch it again. Whenever you, by default, launch it, it's always facing right. And I almost always want mine facing forward. So that's just a little pet peeve, and like all of these by default would be sideways. It's just a little pet peeve of mine. That's just something that I wish the creator would throw in, but I don't know how you would go about doing that. So I'm not really going to, not really going to say too much. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show off this little awesome desktop application, and um, I'll see you guys next time.